So, during this project, I thought, yeah, I should probably film some of this. This is all scrap wood. Never made one of these before, but hey, you know, got some ideas off YouTube. Gonna try my own. Now, <clears throat> with inside of this, I'm gonna put two by two, like a rail on each side, make another box so I could slide it back and forth, like a shaker box. With that, I may have to put a piece of wood here on the outside, on the outside so it'll fit snug. So as I'm slotting that back and forth, this box doesn't move. Eventually, what I would like to do is mount this up in the air on 4x4s. Pull the cart up underneath of it, hook it to the tractor, and just fill it in from there, make it a stationary thing down at the compost pile. We're working, figuring a plan as we go, so got the wire, I've got the staples. I'm just going to cut more of this plywood, a little wing basically for each side so it'll sit on the box, screw that up there, put some wire on it, and uh, yeah, go from there. Like I said, using scrap, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, my cuts obviously are not perfect. They're not, you know, if you have a table saw and you can do that or you can cut a straight line better than I can, that's great. The whole idea is it's going to basically sift compost so you can use the finer compost and then take the stuff that's rough and put it back in there to decompose. So, like I said, don't get hung up on trying to make it perfect, okay? For a long time, that's what I did. I tried to do that. And all you're doing is beating yourself up. And I'm just using the screws that I have, guys. You know, if you just have drywall screws, just drywall screws. And that's the big thing. Just use what you have. If you got nails, use nails. Like I said, I have somebody coming to pick up birds today, so I may stop and when they get here, help them load up birds. So now what I'll do is I'll pre-drill some holes so I don't split the 2 by 2s and sink in some long screws. Probably three or four and each side. And that'll be the top that the tray goes back and forth on. Then I will make the tray to fit this. It's probably smaller. So, and my camera's crooked. camera has went crooked on me.
There we go. I've probably been filming crooked the whole time. Probably been filming crooked the whole time. Hey, if you haven't figured it out yet, one of the things you can, every homestead or if you're working for yourself, you need tools, guys. Good set of power tools. Doesn't have to be top of the line. Um, I use Porter Cable. Bought a box set. I only needed like a couple more pieces to have the whole set, but you know, it came with two batteries. You know, it works really well. Um, impact drill. Uh, cordless reciprocating saw. Skill saw is cordless. They make us cordless jigsaw, but I don't have that one yet. So if you haven't invested in one, I would suggest go out and get them. You probably can get them on sale, usually around wintertime you can get them as a box set. Um, but definitely keep your eye out for them. I went ahead and attached the pieces of wood. As you can tell they're right there and there. And they're like that on the back as well. Okay, and what that is is will keep it from shifting this way back and forth. So it sort of locks it on a trailer. Eventually, like I said, I want to put four by fours on this side so I could just put the trailer right underneath of it. So now there's my rails. Okay, my two by two rails. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box out of 2x4 and it's going to sit like that and have another, you know, come out and I'll create a box to the length of this. So it's like 30, I actually wrote it down, 30 and 3 quarters by 20 inches long. So it's a little less than half, so I could slide this box, so I can slide this box back and forth, back and forth, okay? And then the heavy stuff that's left in here, dump it back in the compost pile and use this. So now that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to build that box. I was afraid of cracking it, so I guess I'm going to go through pocket holes. So we'll do pocket holes. Just takes a little longer. I don't have my jigs. My jigs at the other farm. Across the street, because that's where I've been doing some other projects, helping them out. So, just take a little bit longer with the old actual Craig system instead of the armor light that I was using.
if you don't have pocket hole screws, but you still have like, I need a two and a half inch screw, if you have a two and a half inch screw, you can still use it with the pocket holes. You don't have to go out and buy this. I happen to have it, so I'm using it. All right, well, they've got the quail on the left, so all the quail in my meat pen out here, this one right here, um, they took them all. So, had over 70 quail, and they took them all. So now back to this project. So here it is. <coughs> Gotta put the wire on the bottom of it. Okay, let's see if I can set it up here so you you can see it. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to put wire on the bottom. I'm going to put wire on the bottom here, okay? And then I'm going to take this and slide this back and forth. Slide this back and forth. And separate the compost. And what's left of the compost that's too big, I'll take this out, throw it back on the pot. All right. Well, now that we got the wire, so this wire here is a half by one. And it will fit on this box this way. So, bring the camera. So, half by one. So, it's going to roll this way. So, I'll just use a short amount. I could use hardware cloth, but I think it's going to be too fine for our compost. It's pretty, pretty rough, even though we let it sit for a year. So, uh, we're going to use a half by one. I'm going to staple it to the bottom, get the air compressor out, or hand staple it, or you could use nails. You may just use the um, fencing nails, because I've got some of the small ones. I may use that. So I'm going to cut this, put that on there, and then we'll flip it upside down, and we will be good to go. So there we go guys, the box is made, yeah, you can put handles up here if you want, it's going to go like this, it'll be attached to the uh, tractor, wow, that was interesting, county and two state police, so something's going on, so now because this is old wood I had little pieces of metal in here that I didn't get off. I'm going to hammer them down in instead of pulling them out. Just to make it easier.
just makes it easier. So now if you wanted to add a handle, you could. So when it's not raining, we'll take the, we'll go down the compost pile and we will set this back and forth. When we're done with it, we'll take this off, set it down the pole bar. So. Not too bad. For a quick look on YouTube, I originally seen this set up over a wheelbarrow, smaller, and the second one right here, the second had wheels and a track. And so this little car had wheels. I don't have, I have casters, but they are not fixed casters, they rotate. So I'm just going to use this for now. It'll serve the purpose and give me some compost. So, hope that helps. Um, you know, try it yourself. Use what you have around the house. And, um, you know, that's basically what I did. I used what I had around the house. Left over from projects and my garden cart. So. Hope this helps and we'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.